Hey you lovely Hello Fresh Cooks, today we are in the Madu Ganga in the south of Sri Lanka, it's the Madu River and it's near Gaul and the reason we're here is because I'm going to show you this week's recipe which is a turmeric and coriander chicken with a Sri Lankan spiced rice and one of the key spices in that rice is this one here, it's cinnamon. So we've come all the way to Cinnamon Island and there's a family here who, who live here, cultivate the cinnamon, they've been showing us around and telling us all about what is essentially their super food, their super spice. Apparently it's really good as an anti-inflammatory if you rub it on your temples, really good for headache, you can rub it on a tooth and it's good for toothache. And apparently if you rub it over yourselves, which we actually have all done, it's good as a mosquito repellent. But whether that's the case or not remains to be seen because I'm already feeling my ankles being eaten as I'm speaking. First thing we're gonna do is slice an onion in half through the root. Put a few slices along the onion lengthways and then turn it widthways to slice it into little chunks. So after the red onion you just want to take a clove of garlic and you want to crush it and then chop it up finely. Alternatively you can just grate it if that's easier. After that is the red chilli. Now you can chop as much as you dare. I'm going to use about half of this one because it's a little one and it's quite hot. If you just chop off the top, chop off the bottom and then slice the chilli along lengthways and you can scrape some of the seeds out and that'll take a little bit more of the heat out as well. But Sri Lankans, they love their food super hot. So since we're here, I'm gonna use a little bit more than I might normally. And then just slice it up nice and fine. Okay, so next up's the courgette. What you wanna do is just chop off the top and the bottom of the courgette, then slice it in half lengthways and then each half you wanna slice lengthways again into about five strips. And once you've done that, just turn them widthways, and then we're going to slice them into roughly one centimetre chunks. Just put your courgette to the side, and then you want to separate the coriander leaves from the coriander stalks. And once you've separated them, you just want to roughly chop the coriander leaves, and then you want to take those coriander stalks and just fold them in your hand, and we're just going to chop them up quite finely as well. Once the onions are softened, add in your chilli. Next thing to go in is the fennel seeds. Then we're going to put in our ground coriander, our ground cumin, and then we're going to put in half of the turmeric. So the next thing that's going to go into the pan is the rice, the coriander stalks, and then finally your chopped courgette. Now give it all a good stir and get the rice really thoroughly coated in all of the spices. Okay, then the next thing that's going to go in the pan is your water, your stock. So give it a good stir until that stock is completely dissolved. And then into the pan goes our key flavour, the cinnamon. Now I'm going to break it in half, just put it straight into the pan, stir that cinnamon stick in, and you guys know the rest of this. The tried and tested HelloFresh rice technique. Just put the lid on the pan. I'm gonna leave it on there 10 minutes, low heat. Then we'll take it off the heat for 10 minutes. Don't touch the lid and the rice will be perfect. Right, the next step is to really flavor up that chicken. So I've got the chicken thighs in a bowl. I'm gonna add in a little bit of oil. And then into that bowl, we're gonna put a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. I'm gonna put in half of my coriander leaves. And then I'm gonna put in the other half of that turmeric. Then just make sure that you get all of that flavour mixed into your chicken. So the rice is coming off the heat, that's just going to rest for 10 minutes, keep that lid on remember, and now we're going to just toast off our desiccated coconut. Okay, and once that has browned off, then just put it back into the bowl and keep it on the side. And it smells absolutely amazing, we've got the combination of desiccated coconut toasting the whole crew sprayed with cinnamon spray for the mosquitoes. This place smells incredible. Okay, so next thing we need to do is just wipe out your pan, put it back onto the heat, then we're just gonna lay the chicken in, skin side down. Okay, the chicken's absolutely perfect now, so I'm just gonna take it out. I'm gonna rest it on my chopping board for a couple of minutes. And that gives me a chance to finish off the rice. So take the lid off the pan, it looks absolutely perfect. Check it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that cinnamon stick out because you don't need that in the final dish. And then I'm gonna add in half of the desiccated coconut and then just stir it all together. 
And then I'm gonna make my coconut yogurty dressing. Now, on the way here, I realized I'd forgotten yogurt, so I stopped off on the side of the road, and I got this stuff here, which is buffalo curd, and it even comes in this clay pot. It's absolutely beautiful, and this stuff tastes delicious. So I'm just gonna mix some of this curd in with the other half of the desiccated coconut. Give that a good stir. Right, last step before we plate up is slice the chicken into nice one centimeter strips. So the rice just goes onto the plate, followed by these beautiful crispy chicken strips, a little dollop of your coconutty yogurt on top, and then finally, I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit more coriander. And there you have your coriander and turmeric chicken with cinnamon infused Sri Lankan spice. And as the locals say, abuwan, in a camera which basically means bon appetit.